I was going to ask you if there's anything else that maybe we didn't ask that you want to touch on about the brands or. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some exciting things coming this year. We're going to have a new limited time offering coming out around October, November time frame. Uh, same as always. Very much looking forward to that release. It's going to be very rare. Uh, so, so keep an mm -hmm. eye out. We're also going to have a very exciting announcement coming in within the next month, uh, next next four weeks or so, uh, tied to the brand. Uh, look out for that. So please, you know, make sure you're following us on social media at Chicken Cock Whiskey or, you know, signing up for our email list to keep out for those exciting announcements. Uh, you know, one of the coolest releases that we've done uh, in the last month or so is actually our new small batch bourbon. So I definitely want to uh, showcase that. Uh, it's got a little bit of a different label than a normal bourbon does, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. this, uh, my friends, uh, you know, you taste our Kentucky bourbon and all the great flavor in that. <clears throat> when I tasted small batch for the first time, I was blown away by how much 10 proof points more and a five-year age statement can do uh, to our whiskey when we're taking the best of the best in our barrels and blending them together. Uh, small batch is made from, uh, you know, typically less than 10 barrels, but at the very most less than 20. Uh, so we're getting back to the original tension of what small batch whiskey is. Uh, so we're along the way we lost uh, sight of that and started producing small batch was made from over 200 barrels. That doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, so we're getting back <laughs> to the original intention of small batch here. Uh, so we, we call out the exact number of barrels and the batch uh, right there at the nice. bottom. Uh, again, five-year age statement on the back of this right here. And then uh, it's 100 proof. So it's 10 proof points higher than our normal bourbon is. Man, what a value. It's only 10 bucks more on the shelf. Uh, at your retailer, uh, you know, typically our bourbon retails for fifty-seven ninety-nine. Small batch retails for ten bucks more at sixty-seven ninety-nine, and tremendous value. The quality of this whiskey is is phenomenal. So we're very excited about small batch. But yeah, so some exciting things happening this year. Yeah, I love that because uh, kind of like you touched on, it seems like from what everything I've read and seen, small batch isn't necessarily regulated. You can almost throw it on anything and say, oh yeah, this is a small batch. Um, so I, I love that you guys are getting back to the actual roots of a small batch whiskey. That's great. Yeah. You know, uh, great point there. Uh, you know, the small batch category was really started to, uh, it started to come about in the early 1990s and, uh, it's original intention was just like what we're doing. We're right. We're mm -hmm. taking the, the best of the best and varying floors of the Rick house to get different flavor characteristics and, uh, right. You blend it together to make a small batch. Well, uh, it's, you know, there's no parameters around what makes a small batch whiskey. You can make yeah. it from 200 barrels or you can make it from two barrels. Uh, really doesn't matter. And so, again, the original intention was small batch, big flavor. Uh, once you start mm -hmm. getting up in those 200 plus uh, barrel ranges, I mean, that's that's just normal whiskey to me. That doesn't represent yeah. what a small mm -hmm. batch really should be. So, <laughs> sure. uh, yeah, we're, we're we're excited to get back to the original intention of it. These these barrels are coming from varying parts of the Rick House, usually between the second and fifth floor. And uh, and man, like I said, the flavor is phenomenal. The mouth feels phenomenal. Um, and each batch has its own little varying, you know, nuances between it. Some are a little bit more on that citrus heavy uh, side. Some are a little bit more on that vanilla uh, custard side. You know, uh, it all depends. But uh, yeah, look out for that at retailers around the around the nation.